I, I was solving a uh, lead code and I was watching a lot of videos also uh, on YouTube. Hello everyone. Here I am Sahil, your host for today's video and welcome to another video of our interview guide series at Three Based. Uh, today we will be going to we are going to cover interview process, interview preparation strategy and roadmap for one of the most sought after companies which is Google. Uh, to do this, we have with us Devashis Nyati, uh, who is a software engineer at Google Washington. Uh, hey Devashis, welcome to the video. Uh, can you please give a few words about yourself to everyone watching this video? I'm currently working as a software engineer at Google in the Kirkland office in uh, Washington. Uh, I joined uh, this Monday, so three days back. Uh, oh very new enjoying the google culture and the uh, how the office is here it's, it's amazing uh, uh before google i was working at oracle for uh, more than two years uh, and before that i uh, did my graduation masters from san jose state university uh, in software engineering in 20 i graduated in 2020 and uh, mm -hmm. Earlier, I, I did my undergrad in uh, from India, from Symbiosis, Pune. And uh, I was working, I, I have a work experience of one year uh, as a, 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 a QA uh, uh, in India, in at MediaOcean. Okay. Yep, that's about me. So, yeah. Great, Deji. So, I would like to congratulate for uh, you for joining Google. Uh, great, uh, great journey. So, uh, before we dive into the interview preparation strategy, and everyone watching this video, do make sure to subscribe the previous interview channel. We'll be sharing these type of strategy guides and tips uh, every week, so that you have all the insights directly from professionals working in the companies. Uh, so this video is going to be full of value tips and actionable items. So make sure you note down your pointers and everything. Uh, so yeah, Devashis, let's get started. Um, uh, while starting, just uh, let's break down your uh, journey first. And then before going into tips and how did you, what things you used, what resources you went through, let's, let's just understand your journey. Uh, so that everyone has a context of uh, how you eventually landed up into Google. Sure, sure. So, uh, like I said, I, I was working as a QA. I was not very good with coding earlier, okay, when, when I was in India. Uh, mm -hmm. when, when I came here for my master's, I, I saw that, okay, here we don't have any pre-placement cells and uh, to, to get a job, we, we only have to prepare on our own. So uh, in 2019, before my full-time job, uh, I was going to graduate in 2020. So so I uh, like I think uh, in the third semester, I, I started uh, with all the basics of data structures. Okay, okay from, from there I started uh, understanding why a particular data structure is, is in first place, it's, it's being used. Uh, mm -hmm. Why, why, why do we define uh, the the need of that data structure? And then, what prop? How is it different from the other data structures? I started from there, like very basics. Uh, I uh, read, and uh, then I then I started coding about uh, 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 these data structures. Uh, so mm -hmm. I, I started with like very simple. I, uh, like if you, if you ask an experienced person, they they won't do these basic things. But I started mm -hmm. with the uh, uh, creating a linked list, creating a tree, uh, iterating through these, deleting, adding. From there, I started. Uh, in parallel, I, I uh, did a course, uh, online class, uh, uh, which which also which helped me a lot in uh, a, a structured preparation and clear, clarifying my doubts. So so I did that class, uh, and uh, it took me around six months, six to seven months. To, to completely uh, be prepared for for the interviews uh, so this was back in 2019 and uh, so i i by the end of uh, january or february uh, i i became in 2020 i became very confident uh, with the interviews because my mock interviews whatever i was giving 
I was consistently uh, being good at them. Uh, hmm. Okay, uh, so so that that built the confidence in me. So uh, and I also prepared a list of questions which I personally liked. That uh, whenever I want to switch in future, uh, I, I, these questions are going to help me. So I prepared a list for myself. And hmm. this time uh, when I was preparing for Google, I, I just solved those questions. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, initially it was difficult because uh, i think lead coding uh, comes with an expiry like whatever knowledge you have uh, whatever techniques and patterns you you prepare uh, mm-hmm. after 3 4 months you start forgetting them uh, so initially i had uh, i faced that problem also uh, but basics were there with me so mm-hmm. so uh, in 3 weeks i started picking up the pace again and uh, mm-hmm. within uh, one and a half month, I was prepared for Google and I gave the interview. Understood. So Devaji is like, well, I liked one point there that how you mentioned that you started by just creating a link list, uh, creating a simple sort of start. It's it's basically a perfect example for, for everyone watching this that you can start literally from so basic and get to a place which is like at the pinnacle of uh, cracking interviews, which is Google, right? So uh, you said that you took almost six to seven months for your preparation, right? So if we break that down further, uh, can you split it into like how you approached and what resources did you use at each point to get at a point where you are confident and eventually cracked Oracle and then uh, Google? So I think for... uh a week to 10 days uh, or even more than that it was in 2019 so i don't remember how much time it was but uh, i believe 15 days probably i, I studied mm-hmm. basics and uh, uh, did uh, like all the uh, uh, pointing out all, all the data structures and uh, understanding them uh, mm-hmm. then then uh, the the coursework that i started uh, it, it was uh, around 4 months long so, so in that coursework, we did a lot of problems and a lot of mock interviews, and mm. uh, that that helped me uh, a lot. So, uh, mm. and then uh, I continued preparing for some more time. I, I mm. got the job in in February, so I started from September. I got the job in February, mm. uh, and uh, uh, I, I started. Uh, I, I was still preparing for more interviews, but. Uh, Covid happened at that time, and companies started uh, stopped uh, hiring. So, so I was not getting hmm. any interviews only. So then, then eventually, after some time, I stopped. Hmm. Understood. So one point you mentioned in your previous answer was that uh, lead coding comes with a barrier that you start forgetting for things after two three months. So how did you uh, make sure about the revision points? Uh, I have seen a lot of people do different types of tactics for maintaining their own notes or revision how did you uh, do your revision or sort of come getting things back again so uh, initially also when i was preparing okay uh, i i uh, had uh, like all my solutions with me at that time also like whenever i used to get a problem or solve a problem i used to i used to come from the brute force way and mm-hmm. how how to optimize it to the best possible solution and uh, how to think about that so all these modes were there with me uh, okay. okay and the, the revision set was from the earlier set all, only whatever okay. i did okay, okay. and uh, uh, so so whenever i was facing issues i was going back to that and and uh, so you you used to create notes for every uh, problem that you used to solve or just for specific set of problems where you feel there is difficulty or something initially for every problem for 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 the first two months i think then then after two months i started to understand that okay this is how uh, the patterns are for mm-hmm. for uh, uh, bfs or dfs questions we have to approach it in this way then then mm-hmm. i stopped okay okay Understood. so uh, so now we now we have an idea that you did a lot of work in the six seven month period during your final college times, and uh, after that you went to Oracle, and then 
you had around 2 3 months of preparation time before your google interview so now mm-hmm. let's just talk about that uh Two three months window, right? So once, mm-hmm. uh, how did it happen? Like, did you directly get a call from Google recruiter, and how was your that two three months period breakdown? Yeah, so so I uh, in December, like I I was getting calls from uh, different different recruiters. I got a call from Google recruiter, Amazon recruiter, Microsoft recruiter. So. Mm-hmm. so i in december uh, i i talked to all of them and uh, told them that okay by february i'll be ready hmm. so uh, all the so uh, recruiters uh, reached out to me uh, hmm. I, i i i did not apply this time but uh, earlier i applied a lot so <laughs> if yeah uh, uh, so if you are not getting calls you have to apply also okay uh, coming back to the question so recruiter reached out to me uh mm-hmm. then uh, uh i i uh, so, sorry can you repeat the question one more time yeah so if we uh, what was the breakdown of the duration of those 2 3 okay. months so okay. from the point where the recruiter actually told you that okay we will have an interview how how did you split your timeline there okay so so uh, i i started uh, solving uh, the the revision set that i had okay mm-hmm. uh i was working full time so it was a little difficult for me to get get time uh so so uh, for two months i completely focused on just preparing okay uh, i i used to sleep early and get up very early because for me i used to find it more productive in the morning uh so i used to get up early and uh, before my work daily work i i used to uh, study for 4 5 hours for uh, uh, till the time i was getting gaining the confidence mm-hmm. okay uh, i i initially for the first 2 uh, to 3 weeks uh, i was finding it very difficult i'm being very honest i was finding it difficult because uh, as i said that like, all the previous hard work that i did was expired so okay. so but uh, i was picking up things so after 3 weeks i started feeling confident again mm. okay and uh, uh, i i was solving a uh, lead code and i was watching a lot of videos also uh, on youtube uh, at night or whenever i was getting time um, mm-hmm. I, i i was just looking at the question uh, pausing the video and uh, thinking my solution how am i going to approach that um, mm-hmm. I, 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 most of the time i was able to crack like okay this is going to be the approach and uh, uh, then then i just watched the video uh, about how they are approaching it and yeah so this so is how directly so, saw mock interview videos or something like that no 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 i i saw these these guys uh, uh, so if you have heard there is a channel called neat code then there is kevin norton junior um, uh, nick white uh, the, these guys i like upload short short 5 6 minutes videos or 10 15 minutes videos and they they just look at the question and they just uh, ca- uh so, yeah talk through the solution okay so you basically just used to browse through questions and think a solution in your head and if you feel confident you simply move ahead yep 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 okay understood so uh, during this period you were you actually solving problems or were you just trying to skim through lots of different questions because you had already prepared in the past uh, how was it no i i was actually solving problems okay. with, with uh, again uh, like coming i was writing the brute force solutions first then then writing the uh, optim coming to the optimized solutions uh, for the first month uh, to to gain a basic uh, pattern recognition of the questions i had to do that once one so i was confident then then uh, for the questions which i was not able to uh, uh, clearly understand the solution or clearly come up with the solutions for them i was spending more time uh, for for the questions which which i was able to uh, come up with the solutions quickly i was just reading and uh, moving on acha okay so initial first one month was like a lot of revision actually solving problems and once you got confidence you started skimming through questions and yeah. they eventually uh, getting to everything covered 
yeah. okay so uh, you mentioned few of the youtube channels that you went through so were there any specific other resources apart from your notes lead code uh, and these youtube videos and all that you specifically would recommend anyone uh, preparing for google or top companies so the classes that i joined really helped me so it's it's the name is s30 uh, okay. Th that really helped me uh, because uh, I, I was starting from scratch. So, so and I, I utilized that. I l asked a lot of doubts and get, got everything clear in the mm. classes. So for a beginner like me, it, they, they helped me a lot.